now we're going to do this. So we've got our celery. We've got some lovely little bits of celery. If the celery, if the celery is quite stringy, you just need to take it off with a peeler. That's all it is. Nothing else. I mean, if I'm serving this with cheese, for instance, I would always do this because it's just so much nicer, you know? So, and then if cheese, well, I'll do it, I'll bring it down. I, and I would always, for cheese, I would always bring it in and I would just serve it into little pieces like that. Or sometimes even smaller, like that. You don't want it too big. I've just been given this. This is an original celery, actually bowl, like that, that you did. It's so old, but I'm going to use it. That's so nice. Cut your celery into fine dice. You take the edges off first. Now we're going to turn it over again. Turn it over. That's it. So I'm going to cut this in half, which is what I would do. So it's more, far more controllable. So I shall do this now. There you go. Now I can see this. So in fact, I'm going to use the smaller knife just so I can see what I'm doing. So you can see exactly how many you're doing. It's just you can see over it. And if you're just beginning to do this, it's much easier to start off with a small one than to go onto a big cleaver. I could do the cleaver simple, but I'm just thinking when you're learning, that's not a clever thing to do. So that's a sort of what I call a, a medium dice, okay? So we're now going to take a fine dice. So having got this, we're going to take these again. We're going to find them down again. That's it. And that's why I say it's much easier to control that if you've got, and again, if you've got something raw like tuna or something like that, ta-ta, it's much easier to do something smaller like this, a much prettier, and also much nicer to eat as well. You'd be surprised how much nicer it is. Oh, there we go. Now that is, I would use that for a stuffing or anything like that. Really pretty, really pretty. I mean, if you want to just cut some like this, this is just sliced. That's plain, 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 plain sliced, which is fine, which is good for salads and things. So we're going to cut, I almost forgot, we're going to cut this again, as usual. Now, what we're going to do here is, there we go, again. And I'm going to do it again. Now, this is when you're doing very, look, I'm actually doing it so thin. There we are. Can you see that? Right. As I'm cutting, I'm slightly lifting the knife up. So I'm sort of doing that. So I'm on, but doing that. The reason for that, if I don't, I will just cut it and go into the board. It won't last five minutes. So, so we're going to do usual thing. Always in half, much easier to cope, deal with. There we go. Perfect. We're going to do one at a time here, only because I think it's easier for you to see. Now, this is our deliciously fine julienne. Great for a salad. I actually like doing this because it's sort of really satisfying because you can see your work. All that lovely work you've put into it really pays off fine julienne there of celery that works like a treat now so here we have your very very fine which is the celery cut in very finely horizontally then you've got an ordinary a simple dice which is great for stuffings or for anything then you've got the normal just sliced for salads again or you've got this you could crisp it up for salads and then you've got your lovely bit of celery ready for your cheese I think that's really nice. 